So a lot of you have asked about whether or not you could plug in an external hard drive to your Samsung DeX. Now I actually have an old external hard drive that I want to use. It's a Toshiba uh, PH31. It's a one terabyte drive. But one of the interesting things that I found before I started to use it is that I hadn't used this drive since 2014 and it was formatted with NTFS. I used to use it on my other server. So my first question uh, that came to me was, is there a way of reading an NTFS drive uh, on the DEX? And so I'm gonna answer that question first and then we'll erase it and make it just like any other regular drive. If you're watching this video to find out, can you plug in an external hard drive? I'll save you the long detail. The answer is yes, you can plug it in. So right now I'm gonna talk about hooking up. If you do have an old drive from way back before and it's formatted in uh, FAT32 or NTFS. If you don't know what any of this means, don't worry about it. I already gave you your answer. It will work. Just plug it in and go. But if you're like me and you have some older drives and you just want to just see what's on them or, or get access to them, then you can do that. So to access an NTFS drive, we're going to need to load a couple of different things. And the first thing we're going to need to load is uh, EXFAT NTFS from Total Command DIR. And that is some software that's going to basically uh, allow you to read the format on there. You can get that in the Play Store. I'll have a link for that below. So once you do that and you turn it on and you tell it that it should be handling USB drives, then you are all set. And you can see it's a Toshiba uh, one terabyte unit and I jokingly call it Tosh 1.0. So basically I go ahead and I click on mount and you'll see if you, again, if you just want to try it, you can, you can buy the NTFS for, as you can see here, $4.99. If not, you can at least try it to see what's going on. So I'm just going to say, go ahead and continue with trial. You'll see it goes ahead and it mounts it. You can see I have, it's formatted already. I'm going to go ahead and click on open. It loads its own program, which is called Total Commander, which I have now opened. And yes, indeed, we can see this drive. This was being used for um, Altero's backup. Uh, I used to have a machine called Green Lantern, and et cetera, et cetera. But what I'm saying is, is that these files are correct. So here it's from um, May, uh, I'm sorry, uh, January, February, March, April, May, yeah, May, of, May 30th of 2014. And that's the last time it did a backup of this onto this drive. Okay, so if you do have an older drive and you want to see um, how to use it, if you want to access some of the older files on it, this is what you need. You're going to use exfat slash NTFS from Total Commander, and you're going to use the Total Commander software, and you're going to be able to access it that way. So as I expected, your drive needs to be formatted as either FAT32 or exfat. Again, you don't have to know what that means. Just know that it can't be NTFS. And if you're running a server and you're running NTFS, then you know what to do. In any event, the simple answer, as I said earlier, is yeah, you can plug in an external hard drive. I actually found another one, this Buffalo hard drive, which is uh, 500 gigs, and I was playing around with that. But as I did this experiment more and more, I started asking myself, why would you want to plug in a hard drive? And I'll explain to you what I mean by that. Yes, back before I used to have a hard drive to move things around and so on and so forth. But now where you can get a 64 gig chip for like $30 uh, or a thumb drive, there's even a couple of terabyte thumb drives out there. They're not that expensive. I'll leave links for those below. That's probably a much better solution than that. If you're saying I have an old drive and I need to be able to access it or I have it and I'm just going to, like for example, now that I have this 500 gig drive, mightn't I just leave it plugged in and just use it as a place to do excess storage? Probably, but I, I have to find space for this on my desk. It would be much, much simpler for me to get a 500 gig thumb drive and just plug that in down the bottom and not have to worry about the the cabling and all that stuff. But the simple answer is yes, if you need to plug it in, go ahead, it should work fine. If it's an older drive with NTFS, then you'll need to use the two programs that I talked about. Please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button, because if not, I feel like the, the last Martian, like I'm doing all this stuff and nobody cares. So please hit the like, you know what? You can even hit the dislike button if you don't like it, no. But in either end, 
Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And for right now, that's it. This is the High Tech Nomad signing out.